it was one of the worst day crashes in stock market history. Facebook's parent company, Meta, dropping more than 26% last week. That is more than $230 billion in market share value, the largest single day drop for a U.S. company ever. And financial challenges at Facebook as the company and its employees brace for a tough road ahead after its parent company Meta reported its first ever revenue drop. Profits falling a staggering 36% from last year. In response, Meta is now planning to hit the brakes on hiring. Yeah, let me say this about this. I made a mistake here. I was wrong. I trusted this management team. That was ill-advised. Hubris here is extraordinary. And I apologize. Okay. So Facebook is going bust. And to show you how bad it is, Facebook has lost $232 billion in one day. And that's the largest one-day value drop in stock market history. But actually, Facebook holds the top two spots. Check out this clip from four years ago. The sell-off was staggering and unprecedented. Facebook losing $119 billion in market value today alone. The worst single day ever for a U.S. company after this profit warning from CEO Mark Zuckerberg. We're investing so much in security that it will significantly impact our profitability. Zuckerberg himself lost $15 billion in the sell-off. All right, so we can all get our heads around what's happening with Facebook. In early February of 2022, Facebook was worth about $900 billion. Now, nine months later, in November, it's worth about $270 billion. That's a loss of over $600 billion in value. Facebook losses from February 2022 to November 2022, which is roughly about $600 billion, that's more than the GDP of 88% of the countries in the world. We're talking about more than Sweden, Finland, Poland, Nigeria, Israel. Now, it's so bad for Facebook in one day, they lost more than the yearly GDP of countries like New Zealand and Costa Rica. So now that you know how bad the problem is, obviously losing $600 billion is the big problem. It's now why. Why is this happening to Facebook, right? Facebook was one of the big four, big five social media companies on the planet. Why are they seemingly going bust. So let's just call a spade what it is. Facebook is just getting old. First, new users are not signing up to Facebook, and Facebook is actually shrinking, as this article in Vox explains. So now, since Facebook's user base is shrinking, that means there's going to be less people to view ads. And because there are less people viewing ads, that means less ad revenue. And since 97% of Facebook's revenue comes from ads, this becomes a major major problem. Now, I know this is a little sidetrack, but remember the company MySpace? It was essentially Facebook before Facebook. Well, MySpace was not able to adapt to the changing market environment of the online social media space. And Facebook came in and filled that space. And because MySpace wasn't able to adapt, they essentially died by the MySpace. Well, now it seems like Facebook is going through the same. Thing. Now, the real death nail to MySpace came when teens abandoned the MySpace platform and started using Facebook exclusively. And now, guess what? Those teens are now abandoning Facebook for other social media sites. Uh, the Pew Research survey, uh, which was done uh, between kids uh, of the ages of 13 to 17 across the U.S., found that 67% uh, say that they use TikTok. 95% use YouTube. I'm pretty sure everybody uses YouTube at this point, but they say that only 32% of teens reported using the standard Facebook app. Now that is a dramatic drop from when they did the survey in 2014 and 2015 and found that 71% of teens said that they used the app. That was even more than what they then, then say use TikTok now. So now with the shrinking market share, of younger users. Those users are also spending less time on Facebook than other platforms. Now, to combat this problem, Facebook wanted to jump into the video share market, having users create content that they think should bring younger users to the platform. And just as important, they will spend more time on the platform. And in Meta's case, not only is just the macro environment deteriorating, but they're losing a lot of user time to TikTok. And that continues to happen. TikTok now is up to 75% share of uh, adults under 25 here in America, which is the highest ARPU region for Meta. 
So um, we're worried about both ad unit availabilities as people move time into TikTok, and we're worried about demand softness at the advertising level. And 100% of Meta's revenue comes from auction. So if you have uh, falling demand for units, you get light pricing for the units that you do have to sell. So it's interesting how things develop. Facebook came on the scene and took all the young users from MySpace, and MySpace is no more. Now, TikTok is essentially doing the same thing to Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg knows it. Mark Zuckerberg knows that Facebook's biggest problem and the thing that can destroy the company is TikTok. Well, it's interesting, Andrew, because if you go back a few quarters ago, it was really the first time that Mark Zuckerberg got up onto an earnings call and said, look, we're facing this incredible threat called TikTok. If you remember, that was in late January of 2022. I also and it was so the hot new object in town, the, the, the platform everybody wants to be a part of that has far faster growth. Facebook may not be losing time spent, but they're certainly losing on a relative growth basis. TikTok is definitely growing faster. And I think advertisers, Andrew, are gravitating towards that medium. But right. all of this is sort of a sideshow to the fact that while revenue growth is slowing, while the core product has these questions, they are gunning the spending, basically one, to improve the core apps, because you heard a lot about AI last night. So they're spending a lot on AI and that's to catch TikTok. There is no doubt that is all about catching TikTok from an algorithm standpoint. So what was Facebook to do? Well, Facebook started getting desperate, and I mean desperate. Facebook went as far as to hire a PR firm to start attacking TikTok's reputation, labeling it as essentially Chinese spyware. The biggest social media company in the world trying to take down one of its biggest competitors. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, hired a digital consulting firm to launch a campaign to turn the public against TikTok. That's according to a new report in the Washington Post. The consulting firm called Targeted Victory. The Post reports it's routinely advised Meta officials over the years. According to internal emails reviewed by the Post, a Targeted Victory director told staff that the group needs to get the message out that while Meta is the current punching bag, TikTok is the real threat, especially as a foreign-owned app that is number one in sharing data that young teens are using. Targeted Victory, that consulting firm, reportedly planted op-eds and letters to editors in local and regional newspapers all across the country, including the Denver Post. One letter raised concerns about China deliberately co collecting behavioral data on our kids. TikTok, owned by a Chinese firm. According to the Post, Targeted Victory didn't stop there. It reportedly pushed news stories blaming dangerous online trends on TikTok. Remember the one, the slap a teacher TikTok challenge? TikTok reported that challenge didn't even exist on its platform, remember? But according to an investigation by the Gimlet Podcast Network, the rumor of the viral trend actually started on Facebook. That Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook, hired a Republican consulting firm to try and turn the public in the United States against TikTok. TikTok, of course, is the new kid on the block, exploding in popularity in the last couple of years, more popular than Facebook and Instagram, its photo sharing app, something Facebook is not happy about. The Washington Post getting access to some internal emails. Now, if you thought that was crazy, then all of a sudden, the government tried to ban TikTok. Let's start with the Trump administration wanting to ban TikTok. A decision to block the Trump administration from enforcing its ban on TikTok is appealed by the Justice Department. In a court filing yesterday, DOJ attorneys said they were appealing the September 27th preliminary injunction. The injunction followed TikTok's request for emergency intervention as the Commerce Department sought to ban TikTok from app stores in the U.S. So you thought it was only Republicans who didn't like TikTok. Well, now the Biden administration is also trying to ban TikTok? I wonder why. But the reality is this is broad and bipartisan. You've got Senator Mark Warner, a Democrat chairman of Senate Intel, who looks at a lot of really interesting security briefings every day. And he says that it is TikTok that scares the Dickens out of him. You have uh, just last week, Democrat uh, Chairwoman uh, Schakowsky in the House. She wrote a letter with uh, Republican Bill Arrakis to Apple and Google 
saying we're concerned about your continued inclusion of TikTok in the app store. So this isn't just about me. This is about broad, deep, bipartisan concern that's being expressed. So since Facebook was having trouble getting TikTok banned, they said, well, you can't beat them, join them and introduced Instagram Reels, which essentially was TikTok for Facebook. And there was a huge, and I mean huge, backlash about this. This morning, some of the world's most influential social media platforms responding to backlash from users, influencers, and even celebrities. Facebook has always been about friendships and connections. Instagram lets you see your friends' pictures, but now those experiences may be changing. Facebook is testing a major redesign, showing posts based on your interests and an algorithm instead of posts that connect you with your inner circle. And Instagram drawing the most attention. The app originally known for artful photos now focusing on video. Introducing a full screen feed where photos and videos take up the whole screen. And including recommendations of other users' posts in your feed as well as friends and contacts. Now, powerful users are pushing back. While people love video, they kind of say there's like a time and a place for that. Some point out the app now feels more like TikTok, the trend-setting platform popular with younger users. Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian, who hold some of the most popular Instagram accounts, both reposted this meme to their hundreds of millions of followers, imploring the platform to stop trying to be TikTok. User reaction was so strong it forced Masseri to respond. There's a lot going on in Instagram right now. We're experimenting with a number of different changes to the app. And so we're hearing a lot of concerns from all of you. I need to be honest. I do believe that more and more of Instagram is going to become video over time. So now we're at the end of the video. What do you think? Is Facebook going to survive another two, three years? They've lost 70% of their market value. And TikTok doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And everything they're doing to jump into that TikTok market is failing. Even hiring this hit team to try to destroy TikTok's reputation. So what's on the other side for Facebook? Who knows? And if just imagine if some other company like Microsoft or something buys up TikTok, that's even going to be worse for Facebook. So let me know in the comment section. Do you think Facebook is going the way of the dinosaurs like MySpace, like all the other social media companies that came before it? Or do you think Facebook has one last gasp and the metaverse will save the day? Let me know in the comment section what you think. My name is Nate the Lawyer, and I'll see you next time.